So for the demand function given by this, find the consumer surplus. Now, Q is equal to 30 divided by P square. What is consumer surplus? I just told you consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve above the price. So the area below the demand curve and above the price is consumer surplus. Now it says that P is given as 2. So if I put P as 2, what will be my quantity? It will be 30 by 2 square. This will be 30 divided by 4. So this will be 7.5. Now just see here, okay. I am saying that when my P is 2, demand is 7.5. Right. I cannot go ahead and find this area using any other method other than finding my area under the curve through integration. It would have been possible to find consumer surplus had this been a line using the area of a triangle. Supposedly, I would have got this. Supposedly, it was a downward sloping line. Suppose. Then I would have found that, okay, if the price is given to me as 2, then this area would have been half into base into height of the triangle. But here, this is not what it is happening. Here, I don't have this as a line. This is a quadratic relationship that I have. So, therefore, the only way to find is to integrate this function. So what will I do? Just see. If I have this as the curve, 0 to 7.5, this is my price too. If I want to find what is the area under this curve, it is this. When I integrate this curve, I will get area like this. If I subtract from this, this part, then I will get this area. And this will be my consumer surplus. So if I integrate my demand curve, demand curve is given by this. Q is equal to 30 by P square. So which means P is 30 by Q under root. Because I have to integrate in terms of quantity now from 0 to 7.5. So my area under the curve will be 30 divided by Q under root dQ. I have to integrate this from 0 to 7.5. So root 30 is a constant. This is Q to the power minus half from 0 to 7.5 dQ. Very simple. Whenever you do integration, you will add one power and divide it by that. So, for example, integration of Q square will be Q cube by 3. So, integration of this will be Q to the power minus half plus 1 upon Q uh, minus half plus 1. And this will be integrated from 0 to 7.5 into root so this will be root 30 q to the power half upon half. Put this from 0 to 7.5. So this will be 2 root 30 into root 7.5. So this will be 2 root 30 into 7.5 and this will be 30. Right. So 7.5 will be 
nothing but 75 by 10 into 30. This will be 15 into 3 into 3. So, right. So, this will be nothing but 5 into 5 uh, into 3 into Am I doing something wrong here? So this will be 30 into 75 by 10 under root. So this is, sorry, 15 into 5 into 3. So this will be 5 into 3 into 5 into 3. So this is root 15, right? Uh, so 15, 15 into 2 is 30. So I will get 30 here. Achha, now, just see. This is the area under the curve that I'm getting as 30. Now I have to subtract this area. And this area will be 2 into 7.5, which will be 15. So 30 minus 15 is 15. So my consumer surplus, which is this, it will be 15. So my answer to this question will be 15.